the Rolling Out podcast. Stories from people who just have to skate. Hello and welcome to the Rolling Out podcast, where I meet up with members of the Birmingham and West Midlands roller skating community and talk about their journey with skating, life, music, whatever else comes up as we chat, really. My name is Stephen Camden, or Polar Bear, and I'm a writer and creative practitioner from Smithwick, and I don't skate yet. I just love stories and meeting interesting people, and the skating community in our city is full of them. Each of these pilot episodes is a long-form conversation with a different member of the skating community, recorded wherever they felt comfortable to sit down with me and share some of their story. Hope you enjoy. I met Empress for the first time just a few months ago, and I already feel like I've known her for years. That's what Empress does. Her openness and generosity are inspiring, and that's before you even get a taste of her energy in a room. Since coming to skating in her adult life, she's been using it to spread that energy in enough ways to keep 10 people busy. It was a genuine gift to hear her speak about her journey and chat about things yet to come. Loved it. Thanks, Empress. But side note, we recorded this one at the Mac, so there's background noise throughout. Here's our chat. Just to say, this episode contains references to self-harm. Listen discretion is advised. Could you please tell me your name, where we are, and what you remember as the beginning of your relationship to skating, please? Okay, so I am Empress Gibbs. All good. Okay. We are at the Mac mm-hmm. in Canyon Park, mm-hmm. and my first experience of skating um, I wasn't well. Where did you do your A-levels? Sorry. Where did you do your A-levels? Yeah, that's yeah. 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 Super. <laughs> oh, much more important question here, Joey. I know, I can't believe that. How long, When I was 16, everybody else was Joey, like, come on. <laughs> sorry, sorry. It's okay. My, um, my first experience of skating, I wasn't well. Okay. Um, I was going through like a relapse type of moment with my, well I wouldn't say relapse because mm. I wasn't even in a situation where I was kind of out of it and kept going back in it it just yeah. felt like I was in this secular space of trauma yeah um, are we talking a long time ago are we talking quite recently when are we talking please so I've been skating for four years March so four years yeah. March <laughs> yeah yeah so that's 2020 yeah so during lockdown I was going to say that's, that's in the middle of it yeah and so, um, and where are you, are you you're, you're at home? Well, I was at home, but then I couldn't be at home by myself. Right. I really struggled with that. Yeah. So I went and stayed with my friend Nadia. Okay. Um, I was only supposed to be there for the weekend, but I ended up being there for three months. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Um, and then, in, that, in the midst of all that, like, how, how does skating even present itself? Was there, was there a pair of skates there? Was it a she conversation? Had skates, okay. But I didn't have skates, but she kept trying like different things to get me out. Because okay. me being like how you see me now being out talking to me that I wasn't I was the complete opposite. Yeah, yeah. And I mean the extreme of yeah, that. Yeah. So she was doing different things to kinda of get me up because I wasn't eating, I weren't sleeping properly, I wasn't interacting, I weren't communicating. Mm-hmm. Um she said I kinda of, what's it called? That couch to potato thing, you remember that, that came out or well. Couch that to f- Oh, yeah, 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 the 5K so, thing. Yeah, that. Yeah. So she was doing that. So she tried to get me out in the morning. So I was like, yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. 6 a.m. out jogging. Like Wolverham. No, thank you. <laughs> and then she was like, get some skates. Buy some skates. And I was like, mm. <sighs> all right then. So we went on Okay, Amazon. can I pause you one second? Yeah. There because your face changed then. Yeah. Thought... Because, look, running, <laughs> definitely not, 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 not. Yeah, that was like Skating, a no. like, okay then, but it wasn't a complete no. So was there something, did you, if you don't even try and go, was there any, like, even, like, earlier things of relationship with it? Did, you, did it look, were you, do you know what I mean? Did you know that yeah. she skated much? Were you, was there awareness of it? There was no awareness that she skated. Me and, at that time, yeah. me and Nadia's relationship was still, not new, but new. Yeah, yeah. Um... So this was the first time experiencing everything. Like, it was the first time me letting somebody into my world okay. and them seeing me wholly and completely yeah. in a mess. Like, she... I'd never let anybody in like that. Yeah. So that was that first thing. And then... Um, 
Yeah, I don't know what it was with Nadia, but I just, yeah, she's a really lovely person. But yeah. she does pick up stray, so I guess I was one of the strays and stuff. <laughs> but, it's, but it's like a connection then, so it's like, right, here's this person I've connected with. Yeah. For, for whatever reason, or unconscious reason, or whatever, for whatever reason, right, and now, so the suggestion from her, maybe if it had been from someone else, it would have been more dismissed, maybe, or do you think that's fair, or do you think it was... Was it, I guess what I'm saying is it's like, yeah, it's interesting to me that Ronnie was yeah. like, no, 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 yeah, straight up, no. Yeah. But skating is like, there's maybe. a little, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, what I do you think, think that maybe is? Maybe just the element of fun, yeah. maybe. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. Well, yeah. Running yeah, school, yeah, running PE or something. Like, it's a lot, isn't it? And yeah. it, it's a real strenuous thing for me, running. And even though running's been in my history and my past, okay. I think maybe possibly at that time I didn't want to revisit that either. Okay. Because it brought back bad memories. Yeah, yeah. Um, that makes a lot of sense. Yeah, well, back, really bad memories. I guess because I was always really fast in school. Mm -hmm. Like I, when I was doing the hundred meters, I remember doing the hundred meters in I think it was twelve and a half seconds. Yeah. So I was really fast, yeah. and I was on the way of doing. But then I got pregnant with my son, and yeah. so it was just okay. Yeah. So there's attachments and there baggage that comes with that. To that, I think, yeah. which makes sense when, when you use the word fun. It's like right, mm -hmm. very different thing. Yeah. Okay, so there's a possibility in fun as well. So, yes. But you were still reluctant to yeah, do it. Yeah, because I was just like, well, I've got to get up to do it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I just didn't want to interact with the world in that way. Yeah. Because then it means I'm living and I wasn't in that space. Mm -hmm. um, but are you going online? Look, at, She's like showing your skates. Look at these ones. Look at these ones. Yeah, we kind of went online. We went on Amazon. We kind of just had a look. Yeah, yeah. You know, and then I saw these black and gold ones. This is it, right? Yeah. It's just Can so you funny. See face? Yeah. <laughs> but, like, but also, anyone I talk to, that, that, that first, like, ching. Yeah. But there's something about black. Do you mind describing? Describing them, please. Yeah, they were like these black suede, yeah. um, the artistic looking boots, but mm -hmm. they had a kind of like a gold kind of mustardy trim. Yeah. Yeah, so that, that was my thing. You mean, like, what do you mean by like, so the stitching? All the stitching was in that kind of yeah. gold thing. So I kind of went with that theme and I bought my, like, my high, my knee high yellow socks and my shorts. Oh, so you went? So I had my whole little, do you know what I mean? Okay, was, me. oh, was that, but was that quick? Because you, you like, um, was that like, you know, if I'm going, I'm going. Not in the beginning. Okay. Because um, I wasn't aware that I was going to enjoy it yeah. as much as I did. Mm -hmm. I think the skates probably took maybe two or three days to come. Okay. I think they come on the 7th of March. Yeah. I think it was. And we went to, me and uh, Nadia, we went to Dartmouth Park. Okay. And oh, then, is this literally first time on skates mm, ever? First time, like, well, as an adult. Yeah. I think I used to do it as a child, but nothing... Okay. Major. You didn't have any skates of yourself. I had skates, but because I was because I grew up in a single parent household, mm. my mum wasn't really the parent to let me go outside like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I had the skates, but I never really used them. Yeah. So they were just there. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Do you yeah. know what I mean? Um, so I didn't really have that experience. Um, so going to the park that day, it was weird because it was myself, Nadia, and my cousin Martina. That was it. Oh yeah. All and on skates. All on skates, and it was my cousin's first time as well. Yes. Nadia had skated a little bit though, because yeah. she's like, I want someone to skate with. Like, yeah, come yeah. on, man, get some skates. So, yeah. okay, all right, then cool. So when we got there, Craig, who skates up here, yeah. Um, he was down the park at that time, but I was because it was our first time. We didn't want to like yeah. shame up ourselves. Like we're going, no, I'm not going up there because he was like doing all these little curves. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, yeah, nah, I'm not going up there to shame up myself. So <laughs> we'll go down the other side. And then if anybody who knows Dartmouth Park, when you go into Dartmouth Park through the gates and yeah. you've got the path, yeah. and then you've got the memorial in the yeah, middle. Yeah. The, after that, it's got a, an, yeah, an incline. Dip. Yeah. <laughs> but you don't realise that until you're on skates. <laughs> Okay. Um, okay. Right. Yeah. Look, and so, are you, and you found out. I found out real quick, yeah. the hard way, and I didn't know how to stuff. I didn't know how to take hills. Yeah. So I ended up at the bottom it, by the bin because either way that you go down the path once you get there, yeah. it's another set of hills going down because okay. it's all downhill from there. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, this has been enough. I just need to collide into something to get. Just I need to stop. So I wrapped myself around the bin. Yeah. Like, so that was my first experience. Amazing. <laughs> but, then, but like, even, even as you're telling me that now, right, like there's something in the acceptance of that or there's something, we talk about fun yeah. and you go, right, right, yeah, okay, it's scary and it's thing, but there is something about like, and you're not by yourself. Yeah. So already that first instance is like, right, okay, we're in this. Mm. Oh, there's other people who are good at it. Okay, I'm going to I'm going to, it feels like the relationship with it, like you were, the way in which you navigated it, it mm. makes so much sense. Yeah. Because it's like, right, okay, I, I, you already kind of sense of like, right, I'm looking at things. There was a potential, potential, potential. Mm. And then I go out, okay, I'm feeling this, but you wrap around a bin, but as you're telling me now, you're not like, 
like, damn it, your face is like, yeah. it's lit up. So yeah. even, even in wrapping yourself around the bin, yeah. which doesn't sound like that much. It's absolutely like, petrifying at the time. Yeah. Like, it's scared the living daylight out of me. I'm like, oh my God, I'm going to die. <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to die. And, like, and, 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 and is your cousin the same? <laughs> yeah, like, everyone, but obviously when it happened, yeah. like, I wrapped myself around this bin and then you're like, okay, I'm all right. I'm not dead. Yeah. And then you kind of come into yourself and then everyone's cracking up and you're like, oh, all right, just keep going. Like, Yo. do you know what I mean? But it was a laugh. Yeah. It was petrifying, but it was a laugh. And you come away from that yeah. and there's an achievement in it, I guess. Is that yeah, fair to say as was. well? Like, and it was also a, um, a swallowing of my pride. Okay. Because I said, I don't miss if that man can skate, yeah. I'm going over that side. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Because had I done that in the first place, yeah. I would never have had that experience. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Because it's a prideful moment. Like, yeah. I don't want to shame up myself. Like, no. how most people feel like when they get unscathed. Because yeah. that's whatever I hear when someone yeah, yeah. walks into a room with me. Yeah. Like, oh, God, you know, I feel shame. I don't want to drop and I don't want to yeah, bust out yeah, my teeth yeah. and yeah. all these kind of things. So I get it. Do you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I really get it. So I just swallowed my pride and I went over. It's like, excuse me. <laughs> Can you teach me how to skate, please? I was like, I just need some pointers. Yo, yeah. that's big, though. Yeah, because I was done with the pain. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh-uh. Oh. I'm trying to think. Maybe we move. Do you reckon? Yeah, because then people are going to start oh, piling yeah. in so I don't need to go in. Are you find somewhere around? Cause, yeah, no, just, it's fine. I can just keep it going. But um, you can chat as we walk. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Now let's try here. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. yeah I think so. Because what's nice is because it's on your front. Yes. Your body actually blocks the stuff out. Yeah, so yeah. If from I do behind that. me, and it. All right. Do you want anything else? Um, no, I'm all right. You you know. Sure. Yeah. <clears throat> right then. So come then. In I'm fed up of being, being disturbed in that conversation. Okay. Well. <laughs> You can jump straight back in because you've got a very powerful image of you hu hugging a bin. <laughs> <laughs> you hugging, yes. so like, so you go home that day. Mm. How long would you say it was between that first day, March the 7th, 2020, mm. and you feeling all right on your feet? Like, you know, like, I think this, I can, I can, I'm not, you know, I'm not amazing, yeah, yeah, yeah. but like, I've, I feel okay on it. Well, I, I was sucked in the first day, period. Really? Yeah, the first day I had them skates, and like, because I was in the park for whew, a solid five, six hours the first Yo. day. Yeah, because was... once I got the steps, so yeah. I know how to stop, I knew how to skate forward, like I knew the steps, I knew what I needed to do. Okay. So I just drilled that from that moment. Yeah. Um, and I think I probably did that for about three or four months. And that's when I felt like, oh, Okay. Yo. Yeah, like so I that literally that first day, I was addicted. There's something in this. I, I can addicted. do this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. And then I had my skates on every day from that day. There wasn't a day from that day yeah. I didn't have my skates on. And are you going out by yourself? Are you going with, with, go with, with Nadia? Go with Nadia, yeah? Yeah, go with Nadia. And then we found out about Cannon Hill. Okay. Can't remember the time period or distance between that. Well, we actually, we found out from Craig. So, okay. But I can't remember how long it was before we got there. Yeah. Um, but even that, the first day that we got there, like, I was like, let's just go see who's there first. Like, we don't want to just go box out. up her all <laughs> or, do you know what I mean? Like, let's just, like, and Nadia had her skates, but I yeah. didn't. So yeah. I walked and she's kind of skated, but we just kind of skated and walked past them. Like, and there's only a couple people there. I can't remember who was there. But I was like, no, nah, man, like, yeah, it'll be all right. Let's do it. Yeah. And yeah, and then that was it from that point then. So every day at Cannon Hill Park for a minimum of six hours a day. Yeah. Yeah. And because I live literally around the corner, it was like, ah, oh, I've got something in my backyard that I can do. But we're talking as well about, you're saying at the time, you as a person, but even like kind of going out wasn't even the one. It wasn't. And but you, because nobody was out. Yeah. Okay, it felt like Yeah, a, the, the world wasn't working like that. Yeah, you know which weirdly helped. Say? Very much so. Yeah. It gave me an opportunity to go out. Yeah. Because everybody else was inside. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So Isn't that it was, it was, it was like, a beautiful moment. Yeah. Like, I really, it's really weird. No, I know. But I wish we could go back to that a yeah. little bit. Um, space. Space, just being able to just appreciate time and nature in that moment. Yeah. And there's nothing really else to have to distract you or yeah, to, yeah. you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, I remember someone saying to me that what it, did, what, it does, what it did was it allowed you to have a relationship with things without somebody in between, like, mediating it. Like, yeah. I could be in the park, it's me in the park. Whereas, whereas if before that or after it, it's like, right, I'm in the pot and there's people and I'm thinking about who might be. Mm. It kind of just took a, a consideration away, which made it 
Pure sounds a bit dramatic, maybe. Yeah, but do you know yeah, what I mean? There was, yeah. some, there was something in that. Yeah. But timing-wise, in terms of what you needed or wanted or what you felt comfortable with, that's a big deal, right? Yeah. Because, but, also, but also, even with that, yeah. that's a big pendulum swing from somebody who's feeling aware yeah, about going out and then, all day, and then every being day. out yeah. and about. It's kind of amazing. Yeah. And and so is is Nadi like feeling like proper smug with herself that she kind of like even turned now to the sweat, though like, when I say it like it's because yeah. of you, Nadia. Why well, she's like bless yeah she doesn't really i don't i don't think she understands the ramifications of yeah, what she yeah. did for me yeah man um it's making me feel a bit emotional no actually. i know but like, like good... it's almost like she saved me in that moment yeah just by like come on let's try something yeah yeah and i think that's been kind of a principle moving forward in my journey of recovery we'll just try something yeah um yeah and i've just been doing that and then just finding myself being able to do things or have talent in things or yeah that I would never have imagined beforehand. Do you think there's something fair to say? Because what I think when I think about it is that, right, if, if the first thing I'm trying is a thing that could genuinely cause me injury... <laughs> I never if, thought about that. No, but I mean, if, if you do that, then does, does that give a, a perspective on something like, I'm thinking about other things that are new, and I'm like, well, it's not, it can't be that. Is that, is that, is that, is that something that, that, that even played into your mind at all? Like, nah, like, injury never crossed my mind. Hair yeah. to never crossed my mind. Yeah. Actually, the... It felt like freedom, but I didn't realise that it was freedom that I was feeling when I yeah. was on skates. Yeah, yeah. And it really occupied my mind, which yeah. is what I needed. Yeah, yeah. I needed a distraction yeah. to make not, not make the day feel so crap. Yeah. Um, and skating did that. Mm -hmm. So even like when we got to Cannon Hill Park, even though there was a group of people because they're skating, mm -hmm. I still wasn't really interacting with them at that point. Yeah, yeah. I was just in a space where people were doing this thing. Yeah but I could still be in my own space. Yeah. So I used to have my headphones on all the time okay. and have my own music, my own atmosphere because then they're not there. Yeah. And it was it's just this moment of, it's almost like stepping into limbo, like a blank space of limbo, okay. a place where I can just be me and it's okay. So whatever I'm working through, yeah. I can do that on my skates. Yeah. And I would just work, and it, and it's because I think I'm I'm serving up all this energy and I'm doing all yeah. this activity and whatever, yeah. like because I'm I'm not in a space of communicating how I'm feeling or I'm not able to articulate my emotions or how I'm feeling. Mm -hmm. It was a release of that energy. Yeah. So every time I came off my skates, I felt like. Uh, well, you physically exerted a lot, right? Yeah, but it felt more than that. Yeah. I felt like I let, I let go more than a physical energy. It felt like an emotional release. Okay. Um, because I think at that point. Expression? Is that, yeah. is, that too, is that too grand a thing to say? No, it was an expression because at that point my only way of expressing my emotions was self-harming. Yeah. And I didn't have any other tool yeah. to release that overwhelming feeling yeah. that I used to get with my emotions. Mm -hmm. But then skating, skating gave me that. So it stopped me from doing that, which actually kind of had a, a real horrible paradox effect because although it was making me feel good by yeah. doing it because I was releasing the emotion I had something to tend to physically yeah. because I can't tend to my emotions physically yeah. um, then looking at my arm or looking at my scars used to make me feel real crap yeah. so it had this yeah. seesaw effect yeah, of course. but skating yeah, it just gave in. a full positive yeah. you know and yeah, it was yeah, just yeah. a nice like a, like a oh. I was going to I was on a pure practical one as well it, like it must have affected sleep as well. Yes. In a sense of, well, you know, just the core and physicality of it. Just mm. the maintenance of balance and shifting weight and all that stuff. Mm. It's a full... I mean, not, not that you're necessarily yeah, conscious of really that. Yeah, I wasn't thinking about it Yeah, time. do you know what I mean? But, like, you know, but look, that as, in terms of circulation, things that are biologically proven to, yes. to have an effect on the brain. Yes. And you're like, mm. right, all that stuff was playing in, but you're not really thinking about it at the time. It's just, mm. it's, it's, this feels right, this feels good, and I'm kind of doing it. At what point then, in fact, you know what, Before we, can we just zoom in a second? You yeah. put the headphones in, yeah. everyone's going about their business, they're skating, you're skating your thing, right? Were there certain tunes that were really that felt really connected to skating early on? Mm. Do you know what I mean? Were you a, are you a playlist person? Or was I it am, like, I've was got it my like playlist. A, I've got I've, I'm my playlist I don't want to push for like too many deep, but like if you're nah, happy nah, to share... I'm like, happy always to share. Like, I've, I've always been a playlist person. Like I said, music moves me in a different kind of way. Yeah. When I hear music, I don't hear just the song or the words, I hear how the arrangement of sounds being put together and that's what moves my body. Yeah. So the only way I can describe what happens in that moment, mm -hmm. I, I don't think about what I'm doing. Yeah. I just listen to the music and allow my body to move. Yeah. And that's yeah. how I learned to skate. Yeah. 
I never watched a video of people. I never did that. I yeah. got my little lesson from Craig. Yeah. And then up until that point, maybe up until ooh, I still don't really watch videos, but yeah. I was, I, 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 maybe it's a year ago, maybe yeah, yeah, like yeah. I'll watch a skate video, but mm -hmm. I've never really taken any instruction from. I've just allowed my body and myself to mm -hmm. be, yeah. really be in that moment. Yeah. Well, that's kind of gorgeous. Well, but come then, if I said to you, if I go like right, if I find a, a, a place and it, says, and it says Empress Early Skate, yeah, yeah, yeah. what will be a couple of tracks that will be on? There'll be some the Jagged Edge on there for sure. <laughs> What's the one that I love when they sit on the car, walks out of heaven? You know that yeah, one? Yeah, 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 yeah. Sitting on top of the car. Yeah, old guitars, the yeah, one. Okay. And, and I, I think what's kind of beautiful about that, because yeah. when I came down to the park, mm. all dipping and all that you see mm. now, like nobody in Birmingham was really doing that. I saw that somewhere, I think I saw it on, I can't remember where I saw it, but I thought, ooh, yeah. I like that. That's and that's bit, just getting Yeah, low. like, that's a bit of me. It's like when you go back and you get, and you see, like, it's like a backward lunge. Okay. But they put, like, a little bit of sexy yeah, on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, And you kind of have a spiral that space. That seems quite, I mean... It took me a long time. I was going to say, man. A very long time. So yeah. you ask anybody in Cannon Hill Park yeah, yeah, yeah. for months, yeah. a solid six to seven months, I'll be down there, <laughs> up and down, <laughs> dipping. Mm -hmm. Mm. You know what? Up to the top, dipping back down to the bottom. Yo. Dipping back up to the I top. I want one of them flicker book things, you know them flicker Yeah, the silly yeah. journey of it. That and way. you just see me, and it was like <laughs> this progression of, well, I know I can't do it, but I'm, I just, I just got to get the motion. So yeah. I, I, look, I know I look stupid, but I didn't care. Yeah. Like, I want to get this smooth. Yeah, because, because it feels this, like it feels like this is what this your This is what I should be doing, yeah. yeah, because when I'm hearing certain tunes, yeah. That's what. That's something I should be doing to yeah. that tune. Yeah, yeah. That it fits that tune. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? No, completely. So, get old guitar was that song. Yeah. So it's ding. Yeah, no. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. Yo. It's a proper wine. It's listen. <laughs> oh, yeah. ding, 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 ding. Oh, I swear the music, yeah. everything. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. All those little beats and puts that into the motion yeah, of yeah, what yeah. you're doing in that move. So I had to get that move. Yeah. I had to. <laughs> but what I think what's lovely right, about 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 that is going on, right, it's that, that's the thing of, it's almost <laughs> kind of exactly the same time. It's I am doing this, but also this thing is leading me. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's not like, um, I'm not being prescriptive or manufacturing. No it's, it, it feels like a feeling, yeah. but it's also a very technical thing. Yes. So when the two things come together, yeah. That expression, that, it's like anything that's kind of gorgeous, you see, you're like, whoa. Yeah. Like, it's it's a mix of the two, right? Mm -hmm. Anything done brilliantly. Mm. You're like, it takes right, time. It takes time, but yeah. it also, you, they can be the most proficient people in the world, but they can lack feeling. Yes. Bless them. I don't mean yeah, to yeah. be like, I but you, what you, mean. you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, you can, but you can have all the feeling, and it can be really attractive, but you're like, right, mm -hmm. there's always going to be limits because of the technical. And like, so do you, was it something that, um, I guess what I'm saying is, because it's at the time when, when, like, when the kind of world is kind of closed down, mm. Did it feel like okay? I'm, this is what I'm gonna. This is gonna be what my life. I'm gonna revolve around, or, yeah. we, or, or was it like a, a sideline thing? Was it like, I can do this for a little bit? Did you feel it going? I'm just, gonna... That was just something to get me up every day. Okay. It just got me up. Yeah. It got me out the house, and it was that's all that it was. And it wasn't like, and then kind of like real life. <laughs> what's the juggle with kind of real life and like you know? Kind there of is like no thing. real life because I'm not living at this time, remember? Yeah. I'm not into it. I don't. It's really hard to explain. No. Like I, I just gave up on yeah. life completely. Like yeah, yeah. so the 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 eating, the sleeping, the interact like all of that, it didn't yeah. matter anymore yeah, yeah. because everything that was happening was so what felt like catastrophic that yeah, if I'm here another day, I'm here another day. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I'm trying to yeah, say? Yeah, for sure. Um for sure. And that's where I was at. So there was no living, there was mm -hmm. there was nothing else to have to focus on. Yeah. Because I didn't I didn't allow myself to focus on it. It wasn't there. Yeah. Um but skating just But even then then but even even then then like when like I, I find this thing and within this thing there are things that I, I, I know I want to push myself or the things I want to achieve and I want to do oh that I, want, I want to get this move no, ready for this that either. what was it? it wasn't none of that either it was just I want to learn how to do that yeah and I'm just going to focus on that yeah there was no expectations and there, there was, was no, no achievements and there, there was, was no further, further yeah because I didn't know anything about the state world yeah. for it to be that yeah. either yeah yeah um, move by move yeah like it was I didn't know I didn't know there were different moves. I didn't know jam skating was a thing. Yeah. I didn't know. You just, you know, as a kid, you put on skates, you just skate. Like, yeah. And that was it. Yeah. So I didn't really, but there was something about that that brought me into a space of, 
because I think I was also finding that I was creative, but I was finding different ways to be creative. Yeah. And I guess skating is a way for me to be creative with my body, with my whole self. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm. And so, and, and uh, you start, you, you, come in, you come in here to Cannon Hill regularly. Mm. You're, you know, you're concentrating on, on, on the move. Mm. Right, and then are you, are, you, are, you, are you talking to people more over time, or does it feel like it's a thing? Are there relationships kind of forming in terms of like you making connections with certain people, or does it very much feel like I feel this is where it happens, but it's still me, it's still my. Mm. Do you know what I mean whether because 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 I've seen it oh, happened, yeah, it did happen gradually. Yeah, I guess a lot quicker than I thought it might have happened. Okay, because I wasn't interested in speaking to nobody yeah, either, yeah. Um, yeah. and the only person I did speak to or would have spoke to was Nadia. Yeah. But even like now, when I'm on my skates, I, I just still don't really speak to anybody. Like mm -hmm. we just go and we skate. If you have a little, are oh, you all right? Bup, bup, bup. Yeah, here, mm -hmm. drink, gone again. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And and it was kind of like that anyway. Um, but then I guess spending every single day yeah. in a space for a good amount of hours, at yeah. some point you're gonna have a conversation with somebody. Yeah, yeah. So I guess slowly I would. Hi, you were right, yeah, and then yeah. go back into my little yeah, space. Yeah. Wouldn't sit down or talk or anything like that. And I think it was like that for a long time. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, for a minute. But by the end of the lockdown, it was my community. Yeah. It wasn't just my space. It was I was I was a part of a community. And you and it felt that that's what. You yeah, I did, and I felt safe. Yeah. And I haven't felt safe anywhere. I still don't feel safe in my own house now. Yeah. It's still something I'm working through, but yeah, when I'm yeah. when I'm round them lot, I'm safe. Yeah, mm. As, it's so fascinating to me because, like, that, as someone who doesn't skate, but like the, the closest thing I can kind of from what chatting to people, I feel it's like when we, we used to go dancing a lot, right? Mm. Like I know you see faces, I know faces, and certain tunes drop, but it's like and we recognise yeah, yeah, what it yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. But then when you, it's me and I'm gone. And then you come out and you might have a little word yeah, or a check, but it's, yeah, yeah. So it's, it's similar to, I guess what I'm saying is it seems to be like it's one of those gorgeous things that's simultaneously completely solo but also communal. Yes. And I think that doesn't make sense to everybody because, you know, <laughs> yeah. communal for a lot of people means work or it means, you know, drinking or whatever. It means mm. these things. And then me time is me time. And so but how, you, how something can be both, mm -hmm. which feels like it's so, it feels so full of potential. It means basically you can be whatever you want it yeah. to be. And having, you know, first time I met you, you're in a room, and I had not, I mean, you were, you were, when I come to the thing, right, and you're like, right, we're doing this, the tune's on, you're warming up, people start coming, and I'm like, yes, 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 you're doing it, right? And then you're choreographing this thing. And I go like, so how long have you been, and you're like, no, nah, just first time. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, and I'm like, what? And you're like, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I've never done anything like this before. I'm just trying it. I just had a thing. I had an idea. I had a vision of a thing. And I saw. And I'm like, what? <laughs> because bear in mind, like, I've, you know, having been in like rehearsal rooms and working around people um, for like, nearly 20 years now, mm. right? It felt like being close to somebody who's, who was just exactly where they were supposed to be mm. at exactly the right time. And, and the way you handle it, and it, the way it was driven, mm. it wasn't just like come dust. Like we got a thing to do. Yeah. But the way it was held, and everybody would, you know, I'm like, I'm sitting there going, I just want to be in the room. That's right? interesting. No, but what I'm saying is, it's like, it's, it's really interesting. It, what, when did that happen? Like, how, was that, was that did you just, was it like one morning that I think I wanted it, or was there an opportunity that came up that you kind of wanted to grasp? Can you remember even how that? Um, Dalroy, it was, I think, um, said to me, oh, I've got friends and she needs some skaters to do performing and I think it'll be really good because at that point now I've got my dips and you know yeah. and people are watching my progress because we always watch each other's journeys yeah, you might yeah, not yeah. say anything straight away but like when you get to a point and you, you're talking you're like yeah I've been watching your journey you know yeah, so you've yeah, really come along yeah, yeah. Da, 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 da. so I see where you come from and it's like oh okay it makes you feel a yeah, bit jolly and especially with Dara being an OG in the yeah. community so I was like oh. so when would this have been then so like 2020 started when would this have been this have been like this is couple of years in or like 2023 like Last year? July of last year. Okay. No, a little bit before that. A little bit before? Yeah, so maybe a bit before that because I think I met with Iris in July. Okay. June. So, like, so only three years yeah. from you starting? Yeah. Right, and, and so you meet with Iris, she's like, I think we're trying to put together a performance, but it's not like she said, I want it to be this. She's like, we need a no, performance. I, I thought I was coming to be a part of something she's already. Yeah. It's already there. Come on, break it down from me. I want you to tell the story about it. Like, I, I thought, like, so let's say, I don't know, 
when I put out a call for performers or whatever, like I'm already organising it, so I think it's already done. It's just yeah, they just yeah, need yeah. performers, people just to fill in or whatever. Yeah. That's what I thought this was. Mm -hmm. But, but you when, were up for that. You were up for being I was up part for that. of performance. Yeah, I was up for that because I'm like. I'm in my space of trying things. Okay, we can... Because now I'm trying to get back out into the world. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to live, but I'm, I'm feeling my way through it. Yeah. But allowing myself to do it in whatever whatever opportunity comes up. All right, let me try it, because I'm scared of everything. Yeah. So yes is the answer, and we're just going to try. Yeah. And that's that's how I dealt with Iris. I was yeah. like, okay. Because then when she was actually started talking, and I'm realising, so I was like, hang on a minute. Um, you need... You want me to do it? Like... What do you mean? Like, and then having that conversation. Yeah, yeah. And she's like, yes. And you know what Iris is like when yeah. you talk to Iris? And she makes you feel so inspired. Like, she's you can do anything yeah, in man. the world. And I'm like, okay, yeah. let me go home and think that, like, I'll, I'll do it. I don't know what I'm going to come up with, but we'll... Did you have yeah. a sense of how many people it was needed or, or the practicality of it? It was just like, we just need a thing that involves a performance and it's on wheels. Yeah, that was it. So how long before, like, you, are you walking <laughs> home and you're like, and did it just come? Because the, uh, the way you described it, you just like... It like, was really weird. Come on, please, tell me. Um, again, music, Yo. right? Music's my mover, so music is my emotional voice. So the things that I can't say, especially, like, with music back in the day from when we're coming up, mm -hmm. there's always something to express that emotional feeling or yeah. words that you probably wouldn't have been able to put together yourself, mm -hmm. but it says exactly what you want it to say. Yeah. And... I don't remember how long it was before, but that song by um, Janae Aiko, mm -hmm. I never knew the meaning behind it or what it was actually about, but for some reason it always moved me emotionally, like in a sense, especially in those moments when I was really down and mm -hmm. I just feel like, ah, I can't do this no more. It's like, no, you got to keep going, just keep going. Yeah. You don't know what's around the court, just keep going. Mm -hmm. And I thought, okay. And it kind of just dropped into my spirit in terms of like the song. So I listened to the song mm -hmm. and I really listened to it. So I just sat in my bed and I put my earphones in so I couldn't have no distraction. And I really listened to it. I listened yeah. to the words. I was checking on how that was making me feel emotional, like all that kind of stuff. And then as I'm listening to it, which happens a lot, yeah. like someone can read something to me and then if I close my eyes, yeah. it plays out imagery, like in image. Yeah. <laughs> so that's what was happening. Mm -hmm. So I was listening to that song like over and over again and as I was listening to it I saw myself on the stage and I saw how the expression of that move may have looked or how I might want it to look and that's how the imagery started to come together in my yeah. mind so then yeah. I was like oh okay so then and that's usually at night time mm -hmm. so I'd get up mm -hmm. and I'd try it out like does that actually work yeah can that actually work yeah yeah so I've, oh okay that works yeah and that's how it came together week by week. So yeah. I'm only got, every time you see me in that studio, yeah. it was what happened in that week is yeah. how, and then that started to just form together. I'm like, yeah, okay, because yeah, then yeah, this, yeah. Is, this, this speaks to that story. And actually, mm -hmm. and this whole thing is about me expressing, which is I know what I'm supposed to do in this moment, yeah. but I'm supposed to express it in a way that doesn't hold the trauma, mm -hmm. but allows for a way forward because I guess what I've been doing previously was yeah. sitting in my mess yeah. and not realising I'm sitting in it yeah, yeah. and there was there was a way out I just needed to get up and walk yeah. um, but a lot of the time I guess I feel like there should have been someone there to help me like mum why are you not helping me yeah. dad why are you not helping me mm -hmm. people you can see that I'm why are you not helping mm -hmm. because they couldn't yeah. I had to make the choice mm -hmm. to want to get up out of that mess yeah. so once I did Mm -hmm. and shook myself off to a degree and now I'm over here it's like okay I don't ever want to be actually back yeah, there yeah, yeah. so what do I need to do to stop myself from being back there so yeah. every action every choice was just so that I didn't go back there yeah and that was the only thought that I had for a very long time mm -hmm. so there was no like you asked before future thought of, oh yeah I'm going to do this I'm going to do that yeah, yeah. there was no expectation I didn't know how to have an ex expectation of myself because yeah. there was no worth there yeah there was no value in myself mm -hmm. um but skating helped me to find that mm -hmm. because actually, like you said, it's a technical thing, but because I didn't think about it like that, yeah. it wasn't a challenge in that way. Yeah. And I think sometimes, which is what I'm understanding now, perception of something is so important. Yeah. It's how you perceive that thing. Yeah. So if I perceived it as a challenge in that way, I probably wouldn't have faced it because yeah. it would have been too overwhelming. Yeah, yeah. But because there was no expectation, there was no none of that stuff in it, I could just 
explore it. Mm -hmm. And I guess the exploration of something is where then you find yourself in it. Um, and that's what skating's done for me. Yeah, man. But I think what's lovely to hear you say that, and, and having been in, been lucky enough to kind of, I'm meeting you through watching you put the thing together, mm. right? And, 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 and Iris is like, right, we want some words. I'm like, I'm like for, after the first session, I'm like, you don't need any words, man. But I, can I just go back anyway? Because I, <laughs> yeah. I want, I want to just, I want to watch what, how this kind of evolves. Process, yeah. And I think what's kind of lovely is something you said there about not wanting to sit in something. It's very often when you, when when people have want to make something about a thing, about a, 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 a trauma or or a period that is like there's a weight to it, you end up kind of like making this bubble of this thing. And, and weirdly, it's, it's got no hope or potential in it because it's just like, it's almost like shopping, mm. commodifying like the pain. Mm -hmm. And you go, what was so gorgeous about what you were watching is like, it was full of struggle, but there wasn't one single point in it, one movement in it mm. that didn't feel like it was thinking about now. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? And yeah. I think it was, it was lovely. And also in the room, you have people of quite a breadth of experience. Yes. And then what I found out later on is the people who are in there, they come because they'd chosen, because they, the idea of a performance had appealed to them. And for, for some skaters, that's not the thing. For yeah, some yeah, skaters, yeah, right? Yeah. And, so, and so, you've got, so you've got people choosing. It's just kind of gorgeous, right? It was because a beautiful moment. You know what I mean? And like, and, but completely on the equal thing of like everybody feeling what this yeah, is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because everybody you, experiences it. Yeah. But nobody talks about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I think if anything on any level of anything that we experience, especially as human beings, we all experience pain in mm -hmm. whatever degrees of level of pain that mm -hmm. is. Yeah. But I think there's a... Um, and I think that's what I'm trying to be an example of. Like, yeah. it's okay. It's okay to say I'm struggling. Yeah. It's okay to say, you know what, actually, I'm not that great at this, but... Mm, do you know what I mean? Like, those things are actually okay. We don't need to be perfect. And I think for a long time, I'd, I'd try to live in that space of perfectionism and the fact that I'd always failed mm -hmm. played a massive part in me not wanting to even be a part of the world because yeah. if that's the standard that I have to live to yeah, yeah. and I know I can't come up to it anyway... Allow it, yeah. What's the point? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But in that room... There was no standard. There was no. There's no expectation of anybody. Yeah, yeah. They had. They thought I had expectations of them. Mm -hmm. But then when they have that conversation with me, they're like, "Well, I'm here for you. No, you're not here for me. No. You're here for yourself. Yeah, yeah. You're not here for me. Honestly, you're not. Like, I know it. That's how it appeared in the beginning. Mm -hmm. But actually, this is your journey. Yeah. You're growing through this. You're you're having to push through your own mental barriers. I'm not doing that for you. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And that's what I think you saw then and that progression of that and then people thinking wow okay yeah. like yeah this actually means this is not just a performance now yeah. like i this means something yeah and it's almost like going back to that thing of like right it can be many things at once it can be this it can be me through it but i'm i'm with you and we are and we are moving together and it's it can be like whatever you want it to be like right mm. and i think that there's, there's something in it but then do you okay is it, do you find it um, difficult then because it's like right if, okay bear in mind you know relatively speaking it's still quite early in the journey of, mm. of from 2020 to now yeah it's four years now so, so yeah. how, how have you found because to to not only people spend lifetimes trying to articulate something through their mm. art so to articulate something that fast mm. has it has it felt like a kind of like a, a kind of load off and kind of freed you up has it have you felt a kind of pressure or burden from that or is it how is it how is it What's it meant in the sense of like, right? Because it, 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 it's it's it exists, mm. and you know it exists on film, but it exists in your body, and it, like, that will always exist. Mm. Does it? Did it? Did it? Did you kind of come towards the end of that process when those sharings were happening and the films were kind of done, mm. and you're like, right, okay, right, I want to do kind of more, or was it like, yo, did it feel like a kind of like a? Oof. Does that even make sense as a question? It does. Right. I'm I'm just trying to think. I don't even. I don't really think I've actually. Mm -hmm fully taken it all in yet, yeah. if I'm being honest. Yeah, yeah. Because, That's what I was trying yeah, to get at. Yeah, no, I, I haven't taken it in. I, I haven't had an opportunity to yeah. as well, which is not a bad thing. Yeah. Um, because from that moment of the performance, mm -hmm. skateboarders really existed mm -hmm. in that moment. Yeah. I really existed in that moment. Yeah, yeah. Um, and that's where the motto comes from, I am powerful, I am free, I am enough, I am me. Because I have to think those things about me, mm -hmm. for myself, before 
I can accept anybody else is thinking of those things of myself. Yeah. So it's not about the outside validation of other people. Mm -hmm. It's about me validating myself, mm -hmm. which I've never done before. But in that moment, I did that. Yeah. Even if I was on that stage by myself, I did it. I'm, I brought a group of people together. I, I didn't think I could. It actually worked. We're now here on the stage and okay, everything worked perfect, but it didn't need to be. We showed up and that's yeah. all that mattered. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I do. Um, and I think it's when we got to the, the screening, mm -hmm. the rolling out Brom and stuff, and it was that moment that it kind of hit, in a, only in a little way, because sometimes I think I still don't allow myself to fully experience those kind of emotions because I think there's a part of me that's scared of jumping into an ego space yeah and because I'm I'm really conscious of my spiritual work I don't want to do that but then I also don't want to miss the moment yeah um, so in that moment I allowed myself to just feel that like oh my gosh that's me on that screen those are my words people are actually coming here like rah mm -hmm. And then once I've left right, that's it, yeah. back to, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. Um, and it's like, you and know, that's what it's been. As, and that, that tightrope of allowing yourself and the generosity of yourself to, to be and take something in and kind of like, yo, that's mm. pretty sick. And to not stray over into like, yes, I am yeah, now. Because in those moments, it's, a, it's, it's nerve wracking, yeah. like doing the question and panel answer thing, yeah. like all of that. It all comes with it comes with way more than yeah. The, I mean, with Iris, she's yeah. like she almost like she knows me, you know. She don't tell me till I get there. It's mm -hmm. <laughs> <Some laughs> a moment. <laughs> <laughs> so she, yeah, we're gonna have a question of panel answer, but you know, and she just yeah. kind of breezes past it and doesn't give me an opportunity to stand in the moment and be nervous about it. Yeah, yeah. Um, which I, I think I'm really grateful for. Yeah, it's. I think what's lovely about um, somebody like her is that sense of like right. It's it's a producer, but it's a producer who is tuned in to the people that she's producing, 100%. as opposed to. Here's what must be done. Tick, 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 yeah, tick, yeah. tick. Do you know it's what I mean? Never about that. Do you know for what I mean? For ever. sure. No, for what sure. What she gets that done. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, and that's a skill, and that's why bless you, she's always exhausted, man. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's exhausting. But yeah. okay then. So look, there's so much. Yeah, there's so yeah, much, and I think there's. Well, ask away. There's, 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 I think that there's. Do you think then that um, you know, like you were thinking, like, you know, she, from when Iris goes right, okay, we need this thing, and you mm. go rock up thinking, okay, I'm going to be part of a thing. Look to it, oh. No, I'm going to do this. Mm. Going, okay, what? Even okay, well, oh, there's an idea. Then I visualise that. This thing becomes a reality. I make it like the, the work of it. That mm. becomes a thing. Yeah. Does your brain then go start ticking and ticking and ticking with like possibility things? Because mm, no. it, you, you say no, but then literally the next time I see you, you're like, yeah, we're doing this thing where we're doing these workshops. And I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, hold on a second, right? So, it, so that, that can't be true. No, there's, there's, there's been no master plan. No, I'm not saying master plan, but like, but not but even like, a plan. But, not even a, a two, three steps ahead. It was, it was, it was never that in the beginning. But then, but then, so when did, did the, the ideas are growing from the other ideas? And it's literally a simple, like a domino thing, right? Okay, ooh. Yeah, it's been a domino effect. Good, right? But yeah. that, that itself, momentum of what that is, mm. was it a thing? Did we, after, what was there a point? Like, was it during the process of creating that kind of choreographed piece that this kind of mm. popped up, or was it after? He was like, right, okay, I've done that. Ooh. What I guess what I'm saying is, is like like these things that are pop, come, coming to you and they're kind of like, mm. is it just going alongside with how you're feeling about spreading out or, or do, does it feel like, um, are they coming based on other people's suggestions and you're running with it or these ideas just coming to you? Mm. A bit of everything, I think a bit of all of the above. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to use all my experiences as those opportunities yeah. or as an opportunity. So yeah, I guess yeah. from that moment of doing the, the performance, mm -hmm. So Mia, for example, um, introduced me to somebody who um, was in a youth centre, which was Concord Youth Centre. Mm -hmm. So then that conversation happened, yeah. and then I was like, okay, let's give it a go. Yeah, we could do it. And that's how it's been, like, from the very beginning, like, yes, okay, yes, okay, I'll, yeah, okay, I'll try that, yeah, 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 okay, I'll give that a go. Yeah. Yeah, okay, that's, that's yeah, that's it. And it feels right. That it does, way. like if it didn't, and I think it's also um, me working on using the space that I'm in to confirm the opposite to what I have previously believed or known. Okay. So. Can you elaborate on that? Please? Yeah, so I had a very negative mindset. Mm -hmm. So my belief of myself is nobody thinks I'm worthy, I've got no value. Mm -hmm. um, 
nobody's going to come and, you know what I mean? Like, I, I can't succeed in this thing. So those negative thoughts, mm -hmm. right? So me saying yes to something mm -hmm. is me giving, not just myself, but the universe the opportunity to show me, like, you're telling me that this can change, this energy can change if I make a different decision. Yeah. Show me then. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So I'm putting myself in that position. It's making me feel emotional just no, thinking good. about it because yeah, of course. It's, it's such a scary place to be in when... Yeah. When your world's so dark, yeah. you know. Yeah. Um, sorry. It's all right. I went to the depths of mm. darkness in my mind. Like mm. I lost my sanity. I lost myself. Yeah. I lost my sense of being, mm. of who I was, what I wanted. Like, and always in this time, mm. I'm supposed to be raising a child. Yeah. And I don't feel like I'm worthy to even be in his life. Mm. And. I'm not worthy to be a mama. I can't do this. Like, and he's better off without me. Mm. And that's what my main thought at that time. He is better off being without me. If he is my responsibility, yeah. I'm not cracked up to do this. I'm not like, I'm not worthy of it. Mom. And the people that were supposed to be building me up and supporting me, their 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 opinions of me were also feeding into that yeah. that had nothing positive showing me that and the only one positive thing that would have been doing that was my grandmother and she had passed away which is why I had the mental breakdown in the first place because yeah. I knew it in that moment when yeah. I lost her that's it's it I've got nothing mm -hmm. I've got nothing I've got nobody yeah. how am I going to survive yeah. so these moments of saying yes and going to meet Iris mm -hmm. was me trying to change that energy yeah. and when that then happened and then people saying okay i will come it's like okay let me just take that moment this is this is this is the evidence this is the evidence and then holding on to that little bit of evidence and then taking the next step still in trepidation but taking that step and be like okay yeah but you remember we've got the evidence here yeah. you've got this evidence yeah. hold on to that take the next step say what you've got to say and say it with strength mm -hmm. so you saying you see me yet what we're doing this we're doing that in that moment i'm just like i don't know if i can command these people i don't know yeah. if this is actually going to happen i don't know if they're even going to listen to me or if they're going to get what i'm saying or nothing but just stand in your space mm -hmm. don't fear mm -hmm. like what's happened in the past that was the past mm -hmm. that's charlene that's not empress mm -hmm. you are now empress this mm -hmm. is a new space a new state of being a new mindset stand in that mm -hmm. And then, like, that's what I do in every moment, and that's what you saw. Mm -hmm. Not a understanding of who I was and being okay, just an understanding that, okay, this is my space, and this is how I want to show up in it. Yeah. This is this is who I choose to be in this moment. Yep. Yeah. Well, like, thank you. Sorry. Not, <laughs> please do not apologise. I guess what I'm trying to say is, it's interesting because, like, it's in my opinion, right? Like you. The appreciation, real power, mm. is generous. Mm. The idea of what power is, is like, it, power is like the lording over whatever. Real yeah. power is knowing what you're fighting and still, yeah. but in such a way that is welcoming and seeks connection as opposed to yes. tells people what, do you know what I mean? Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah. So having witnessed that in a room, yeah. It's good to go right. Okay, there's the evidence, and think, and not to think too far a kind of head. But yeah. it's also really important, I think, to recognise that it's not just it's not evidence. It's not like you know exhibit A. Whatever. Mm. We're talking about like I don't know what like you call a it. Like, thing. You know what I mean? We're talking yeah. about like nuclear like <laughs> power, little bits of like these little rocks of like whatever the opposite of kryptonite yeah, is. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's, it's, like, it's like yeah, I must I, come, I can come close to it, and even if you're holding it, mm. it I'm. I'm yeah, Mario yeah, yeah, on a mushroom, yeah, yeah, like yeah, I am fully on. like. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> right, and it's like I think that there's, it basically it speaks for itself. So there's something gorgeous about uh, uh, self-reflection, whatever else. But in in essence, it, you, what you feel in a room or before you go into a room, what you're like, that's what you're holding. It's almost yeah. intangible. You almost can't yeah. explain it yeah, and articulate it. But when you encounter it in a room, it's undeniable, mm. in my opinion, mm. right? And so I think what's so lovely is is to go like right. You almost don't need to know. You almost like, just need to trust that. But it's yeah. this is the thing. Okay, okay. Oh, oh. Let's have a look then. And maybe. Yeah. And then before you know, oh. Yeah. And people are going to start asking. Like I'm asking you now about yeah, stuff. Yeah, I know yeah. that it's not. It's only from like you can't really analyze these things because these things just kind of happen. And you go, exactly the same way. I didn't plan it. Yeah. A song, and I was like, right. I need to, this. This song needs this move. Yeah. 
that's not a theoretical intellectual thing that's no. like it's like it's Spiritual yeah it is it, it is. genuinely is. It is and you know like it's it's creation yeah it's what we are here to yeah, do completely every moment i completely agree with that and i think what's so lovely is to reach a point like for a long time i would have like run away from like these kind of descriptions mm. for first thing oh my my oh, that's kind of like it's kind of like it's kind of a bit too yeah. it's dramatic and hippified <laughs> or whatever and I'm like, no, well, no, no, no. Call me yeah but the truth is the truth yeah but the truth the truth is the truth right it, it is. is and it's and i think there's so thank you is what i'm saying yeah. for sharing and i'm like right i, I guess because we could talk, i mean what is What's it now then? What does it feel like now? Like, I mean, as, in relation to, look, if, you, if, I say, if I say skating to you mm. now, does that feel like a, it's kind of like this box of possibilities? Does it feel like something you want to just take a second and think about before you kind of commit to something else? Does it feel like something you want to share? What's, what, what is it that you're kind of, is, is kind of mm. bubbling in you when I say skating now, please? Now, skating is what, it, what you asked me in the beginning. Like, there's, there's a future to this. Okay. There's a there's an actual space I can I can be in and actually help people. Yeah. So skating is my conduit yep. to creating a space just like the same one that we spoke about that I created for myself at Cannonball Park that time, that yeah. day, do you know what I mean? Yeah. And that's what skateboard is and that's what I've always wanted it to be. So I guess doing the rehearsals was the ex- the exploration mm-hmm. of that. Um yeah. Can I be completely myself, be completely vulnerable, and still be able to command the space? Yeah. Because I guess there's this this dichotomy of where you can have power, but you can't have power and show weakness. Yeah. But vulnerability is weakness. Actually, it's not. No, it's power. It's power. <laughs> it's strength. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Because in that moment, you're facing yourself, you're facing your mirror, yeah. and you're allowing yourself to be like, okay, either I like this about myself or I don't. And then you make the decision to either continue in that behaviour yeah. or make a decision to change it in that moment. Yeah. And that's all that skateboard is and all that these moments have been. It's been me facing myself, mm-hmm. seeing myself in that moment, choosing to do something different mm-hmm. when I can, mm-hmm. when I'm able and being conscious of it. Because yeah. I'm not perfect and we don't always get it right. Yeah. Um, but being okay and compassionate to myself yes. in that moment and allowing myself to just grow mm-hmm. and be whatever. Mm-hmm. I think for a long time, there's always been this thing in my mind, like I know I'm here for a purpose, but it had to be this, I guess in my mind, it had to be like a, a, a particular purpose yeah, yeah. rather than it just being who you are is your purpose. And I think the, the nuance of missing that is mm-hmm. the part where then people just miss the beauty of seeing and finding themselves. Yeah. Because then they're trying to do these massive things Always. to get this result. Mm-hmm. When actually it's in those small moments. Yeah, I said yes to that. Yeah. That was a decision, that yeah, was a yeah, choice yeah. in that moment. Even though I was scared, mm-hmm. even though I knew I didn't have no experience, even though I didn't know if I was going to come up with a concept, I said yes. Mm-hmm. And that allowed creation which is what we're here for which is my only purpose is to create yeah. in every moment and that's it and now I understand that now yeah. which is what that journey was about yeah. now I can be in this space and just explore and understand that the, the, now the, the energy has been built up hasn't it the positive yeah. energy do you know what I mean because I've been doing all these different things I've been working in schools with children even mm-hmm. though I've been dealing with my own self stuff with my son because mm-hmm. that was very difficult because at one point I couldn't be around other people's children yeah. so I'm stepping into these spaces to deal with myself yeah. um, but doing it in a way that doesn't like you say, catastrophize the trauma. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not doing that. I'm. Yeah. I'm, I'm shedding it now. Yeah, yeah. I'm getting rid of that because I got work to do. I got yeah, things yeah. to do. I got people to help. Yeah. So I can't do that if I don't deal with these things. It's that purpose, right? It's that sense. I guess. It's so exciting. It's so exciting. Like, right? <laughs> no, just let me throw you a couple cool. of like things, right? Like, so, if, so if I was to say to you, right, okay, look, um, but even here, there's like a there's a stage. There's a big stage. If I, right, okay, we have got a big stage. We got six months. Mm. Or, or the only, the only like the the, the words that need to be in the mix are roller skating mm. and music. Mm. Where does your brain go if you oh had God, that to play? You with just said that to me. Then I'm like, <laughs> was it really? Come on, yeah. come in. Because like, 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 I, I know what it's like. It has somebody like I don't skate, but I make, and I've been yeah, making for yeah. a long time. And it's like right that I know what it feels like 
to kind of be kind of a tongue between like uh, when, sometimes an opportunity comes and it's, mm-hmm. I just think other times an idea comes and I don't even know what that is I don't know yeah, what to yeah, kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. but if I say to you that you've got six months time mm-hmm. budget's not a consideration Ooh. roller skates like music that. wagwan yeah like I feel like that would be a, a very expressive piece of not just music but spoken word and okay cross form type yeah business. I'm very much a don't keep me in one box yeah and I feel like roller skating as crazy as it sounds, mm-hmm. helps me to explore different creative spaces. For sure. So although I'm on wheels, I can dance on my wheels, can't yeah. I? So, but then where's dance? Dance can take it to contemporary dance, it could yeah. be ballroom dancing, it could be salsa dancing. Can we do that on skates? Yeah. Ooh, let's try. Do you know what I mean? For let's sure. do a sharing workshop. You teach me how to tap, tap dance. Yeah. I'll teach you how to skate. Let's put them two things together and let's put a show together. Like... Alima said exactly the same thing. Yeah. That it does, like, that it's like, we should be making collages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's like, it's like what, it's, and like people go, oh, now I'm doing this. It's like a, f-. no, no, it's all. It's everything. It's... Yeah, yeah. So come then. Yeah. It's, a, it's a show, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's cross art form. Yeah. Is it plenty, plenty of people? Is it kind of a small group of people doing lots of different things? Let's go for it. I come see on. like, I see like a build up of something. Okay. So like, you know, like, because skating's a journey, right? Yeah. And depending on how most people come into it, I don't think anybody expects that they're going to love it in the way that they do. Okay. Because I know what I did then. Yeah, yeah. When you start skating, you're like, oh, yeah, it's going to be all right. But yeah, then you yeah. get super addicted. It becomes a part of your life. Yeah. So, like, I think showing that journey, but through those different arts and forms and having people to express that mm-hmm. through those things would be an amazing thing. So I yeah. see, like, I see ballerinas, I see gymnastics, like I see those things and then incorporating that and then seeing people that are in our community yeah. that you would never think could do something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing that. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And giving people space to just express themselves. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like I just... I I'm in. This, yeah, I see this like <laughs> this nice little mixed part of yeah. stuff happening. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Children involved as well because I think yeah. it's important because I think that's the beautiful thing about skating. There yeah. are no barriers. Yeah. Like to race, to ethnicity, mm-hmm. to social economics. There's no... Yeah. Because when you're in the park, you got your skates on. It's just me and you on yeah, skates. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? I've met some really interesting people and people that I know I would have not have had no conversations with or even sparked a conversation with yeah. had I not been on my skates. Yeah. And then I'll go to Tesco's and I'll see, like, Irish, for instance. Yeah, like, yeah. white Irish guy, like, oh, are you all right? Yeah. And then people look at me like, how do you know this guy? Yeah. Oh, that's my bro. Yeah. Skate fam. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like, don't, don't watch that. That's yeah, game yeah. fam. Yeah, yeah. Um, but then even having that understanding and appreciation that had I not been in the skate community, yeah. I probably would have walked past Irish in Tesco's 10 times yeah. and not known how interesting of a person that he was and mm-hmm. not how cool he was or spent the time that I've spent with him and yeah, learning yeah. the things that I've learned from him. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, so it's, I love, yeah. I love the community. Okay, come then, because, like, right, I'm conscious of, like, bringing it around, I guess. So, look, hyp- at least going with, along with the hypotheticals, right? Yeah. Show, I'm, I'm in for the show, by the way, right? Yes. Right. That's, needs, yeah, all right. So, in terms of, spa- I've been asking people this about kind of spaces, mm. like, a vis- like, the first person I spoke to was Danny, and Danny had, has ha- had and has in his mind a vision of a, the, kind of the perfect venue. Okay. Like, he described to me, it's like the angular, like, it's like yeah, a yeah, ring, yeah, yeah. and with a D- DJ booth front yeah, and centre. Yeah, yeah. Because it, it's all musical for him, right? And and the way it was kind of set on the space of it, and where the food was, and bars. Mm-hmm. I've been asking people, and and I talked to Delroy, and Delroy, Delroy was it's it's it, a kind of manifestation of ice skating for him. Okay. So it's like so for him the whole inline thing, and he loves na- talking about navigating the kind of the stigma of inlines yeah, and people's perception, yeah, 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 and how he yeah. constructs them to be almost like skates with smaller wheels, and it is oh, like it's okay. proper. And like I'm learning all this stuff, yeah, 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 but yeah. in terms of like if I was to say to you, like, okay, wait, if you just want to, you just want a day of the skate in that kind of mode where it's just you, your music, and gone. Where's the perfect place to skate? Out in the middle of nowhere. Okay, on road? On like? No, like in the middle of a field. Like okay. I, 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 my vision is to have like a, a complex of yeah. speaking. In nature? Like. In nature. Because yeah. I feel like nature's super important for that relationship. Yeah. Do you know what I'm trying to well, say? Well, it's such, people make it such an urban inner city thing. It is, and I get it, but it doesn't have to be. No. It really doesn't have to be. And actually, when I'm in my space, in my own space, yeah. that's where I am. Yeah. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah. And I think, Sorry, I interrupted you. Can you just, know, can just okay describe, describe it for me? To have describe this me. big, massive space. So we'll have, because obviously skating outside is a massive thing for us, and especially yeah. when it comes to summer and yeah. whatever else. So to have like a, 
and like a massive concreted space with just a simple covering yep. for our outside activities. Yeah. But then to also have like an indoor arena, a okay. huge indoor arena. So I'm talking like maybe two sports halls worth of space. Yo. Just to skate. Yeah. That's just the skate space. Yeah. Then we will have like, you know, my seating on the side and stuff and food. But I think it's important to to incorporate so I'm lactose intolerant mm -hmm. I, I can never find food that I like anyway yeah, yeah. so having those nice foods and things that people wouldn't possibly maybe normally try and yeah. you know um, I'm very big into herbs and yep. all that all of that so I want all of that around me to be incorporated in yeah. everything that we're doing the food the drinks yeah. everything yeah. Um, and I just see it where's the music coming from? the music's coming from everywhere I've got like <laughs> The best dance so the best sound system <laughs> ever in life. Do you know what I mean? Doesn't matter where you go, there's music there. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's perfectly balanced. Doesn't matter if you're on the left side, yeah, right side, yeah, in the yeah, middle. Like yeah. it's perfectly balanced. Yeah. You can hear it everywhere. You know. Yeah. Um, but I'd like it to be like the DJ in like a mezzanine kind of situation. Overseeing. Like yeah, like like it's floating. Catching. Yeah, do you know what I'm yeah. trying to say? Yeah, like that mezzanine <laughs> feel. It just pops out in a cloud type situation. Like I think that'd be really cool. <laughs> Because then you're like taking up no space on the floor. Yeah. Feel me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We like our floor space. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that would be that, that, that would be, and I do see like a lot of nature inside. Okay. I, 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 if you come to my house, my house is full of plants. Every room's got plants in it. Yeah, yeah. But I've, I, I'd love to have like hanging plants coming down. So it's yeah. just a really sensual yeah, yeah, yeah. space. That's how I would see. It feels like yeah. proper, yeah, I'm in. Yeah, do you know, like we're in the middle of a jungle. I'll but just run. You I'll can just roll run the skate, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, and it, I guess if, if I had the money as well, I guess we'd have some sort of resort feeling outside. So there would be water, there would be the pool, there would mm. be that, like, you know, that luxury kind of thing going okay. on. Because, like you said, as much as it, people do see it as urban or. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But they can, you can it can be anything you exactly. want it to be. Exactly. This is the thing, right? It's that thing of the ownership of it. Is this, That's why it's interesting, to, you know. Making a film is cool, but mm -hmm. what I just want to get to know people, and because all you communicate really is there are as many versions of anything as there are people doing it. Yes. And it's just like right. Also within that, nobody's one thing, right? Yeah. It's like the, today. I mean, what did what did what did Dave say? Dave it's like it goes like one morning it's N W A, and, yeah. I'm, and I'm fl and I'm flat on the quads, and I'm mm. next day it's Enya, and I'm gone on some ethereal yeah. floaty, and it's like right, and 100%. I'm like yes. But like, yes, that's what yeah. uh, I've always wrestled with kind of creatively is like people telling you what you are mm. and getting the opportunity to do something is one thing. But then what you what you're forced to represent based mm. on where you're from and who you are. Yeah. It's just bollocks now. Isn't it? it don't make no sense. In, it doesn't make any. Anyway, I what, agree. So, OK, so what's what's lovely to hear? But to be fair, I mean, so far you're winning in terms of like that, the, the scale, <laughs> the scale and, and just the outside inside. You're talking about it's basically a kind of commune. It's like it's, it'd be that. Yeah, because I actually, I actually wanted real life. Yeah. Like, end goal of this would be to have like this massive complex in which we've got that skate space. Yeah. But we've, all, we've also got communal living, but yeah. from a sustainable space. Yeah. So you know, like earth ships type of thing. Yeah, yeah. Cool. yeah I'd so. love to have and do something on that scale. Yeah, yeah. And do you think then? So like, at the minute, but um, skate buddies and the workshops and kind of spreading that or kind of bringing people in to that and making people feel good mm. in that is that are these like um did it feel like the start of a journey with stuff or like you say it, where are you now with with how far ahead you were thinking like because it's like now i think okay there is something in this but do you still mm. keep things like now or, or do, you, do you allow yourself or make yourself go in in do you know what i mean how yeah. does, i don't think i've got like a five-year plan if mm -hmm. i'm being honest yeah yeah um, but things that are popping up, I'm allowing myself to sit in that creative space when it pops up. Okay. Um, so you're not you're not going like I'm not. Even, I want to be. Here. You're allowing yourself to go. Okay, there is. You can think beyond. Yeah. Right so yeah. like for instance, um, okay, something really random that happened the other day. So mm -hmm. I'm currently in the process now of of organising a UK tour. Okay. So we've got what a does that mean? It means I'll be in a different city for five days. Oh, is this what Aaron was talking about? The, the JB. UK, the JB skating ah, thing, right? Right. That happened off the back of me just being me. Yeah. So in a sense that, because when he came over before, because he's been over here, he's done JB workshops. Mm -hmm. 
honestly, I couldn't even afford to go to his workshop, so yeah. I didn't get a chance to, do you know yeah. what I mean? But then he came up to Cannonall Park, mm -hmm. we had a little conversation, he was like, oh, come to Roller Jam tonight, Dino's taking me down. I was like, ugh, mm. I don't do Roller Jam, but I'll go down there for you. <laughs> <laughs> do you know what I mean? Because of who you are, yeah. so I'm okay. <laughs> like, we had a little jam, and that was kind of it. Mm -hmm. um, but then I saw, I saw something on his Instagram that, for me, mm -hmm. looked like a cry for help. Yeah. So now we're back in my mental health space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My, oh, don't like the way that sounds. Yeah, yeah. Are you okay? Yeah. That's how that happened. Yeah. So we started talking, asking him how he is, what's been going on. He's been talking about what he's been going through mm -hmm. and all these different things. Then we started to talk about skateboarding. He's like, you know, I'd really like to come over to, the, like, to do the workshops again. I says, well, I am doing skateboarding now. We yeah. are in these different cities. And then that's how that conversation started. Yeah. So now we're doing this UK tour. And you got a, that's on you. That's on me. I'm organising everything. So, in terms of like, so I'm reaching out to the people in the cities. Like, right, I need your help with this. Yeah, yeah. Because boom, because I don't know the areas. Can you help me find like a hotel? Blah blah blah. Right, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I'm doing the tickets. All of that. I'm yeah. And when's this? Soon. May. It's gonna be May twentieth to May twenty fifth. So yeah. Birmingham. Yeah. The Monday. Tuesday Manchester. Wednesday Nottingham. Thursday Leeds. Friday Wales. Wow. Mm. Wow. Yeah. And it's happening, but yeah. I'm allowing myself to be yeah. in that space. Yeah. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, completely. Like, and it, you know, and if, it, if it don't happen, it don't happen. If it, if it fails, it fails, but at least I tried. But also, feel like, it, it can't fail because what you said, it's like what, what, you, what comes to it was what comes to it. Yeah, 100%. And it's, and I, again, it, it forces me to be in a space of, hmm. Yeah. What do you believe about yourself? Because now I need to be careful what I'm thinking about myself because I have a conscious understanding that that also is energy that goes out there. Yeah. So although I know I'm trying to change this mindset, and sometimes the, you know, the talk and the chat still comes through and I have to be like, oh, hang yep. on a minute. Yep. That's not what we believe anymore, but this is what we believe. Yep. And then I have to realign myself back into that space. Yep. So I guess like at some point that will become second nature. Like that became second nature. Do yep. you know what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah. But that's almost 40 years of practice. Mm -hmm. I'm 40 this year. Yeah. So now I've got another 40 years to get it right. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> to do something different. <laughs> what an amazing ending as well. I did not know that was like it was scripted. Go, go, look, seriously, thank you, yeah. right? We could... We could chat forever. It's one of them ones as well. And I could just bring another topic on. I feel we could just go into that as well. Right? Yeah. But for, 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 for this, I'm so grateful. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's one of them ones where, like, I'm, you know, I know we're going to stay in touch. 100%. But I, but I get, but I also get the feeling that if I didn't see you for a while, I'll come back and you'd be like, oh, yeah, we did, did it. And I'd be like, I know. I mean, you know what I mean? How that happen? Well. Yeah, exactly. And the, 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 I think thinking about just energy and thinking about potential, thinking about things that I like to think about or hope when I'm kind of put my head down to go mm. to sleep, it's just those two things. It's like, in, it's, it's, it's feeling an energy in a particular moment, whether it's in a room or across the table mm. from people, and also that. that this potential yeah 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 and you're like right you just you're full of them both man and it's oh, like so it, it's like it's I'll shut up now no, thank you thank is there you. anything else you would like to say because I guess this is going to be an audio thing for yeah. people. is there anything else you want to say or mention I don't know yeah Go I on. think there's something that dropped in my spirit as you were speaking so I'm going to just say that because I've been learning to listen to that too yeah so we do my yoga my yoga um, teacher she sent me um something on YouTube called Conversations with God by Neil something, I can't remember the name, mm -hmm. but it's a blue cover. Mm -hmm. And basically this is that person in a, in a state of being when they're like, you know what, I've had enough God. Yeah. You know when you like, you stop all the P's and Q's because you feel like you got to pray or say something in a particular right. way. So like, I'm fed up with this shit. Yeah. Like, what about this? What about that? And then actually hearing the voice within self but realising that that voice was God and having that conversation mm -hmm. and then that's what that conversation what you're hearing mm -hmm. and I think it's been one of the most freeing moments for me in hearing that yeah. because actually when you hear although it could not be true but for some reason it felt like in my spirit mm -hmm. it was something I already knew yeah. do you know what I'm trying to yes. say not something I'm, I'm just hearing like oh yeah. I remember that actually yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and it is that God has absolutely no expectations. God, divine, source, whatever that word is that you want to use that, you know, for that higher power. There is no expectation. And the, I guess, what religion has done is put this father and mother role on God that we then associate with our own mothers and fathers, which then becomes conditional. Yeah. 
and it's truly unconditional mm -hmm. in every way, mm -hmm. the relationship that we have. Mm -hmm. And actually understanding that, putting yourself in a space to not just know it, but believe it, mm -hmm. allows for you to experience something that no longer becomes a right and a wrong, mm -hmm. a good and a bad. Yeah, it just becomes an experience that you allow yourself to see from a different perspective. And once that happens, mm -hmm then creation can really take place. Because it doesn't matter what people have put on you, what they've said, the residues of... It, those things actually really don't matter because, like, having this conversation with you, I've realised that actually something that felt, like, quite traumatic to me, which was the upbringing with my mum, she was very controlling. I love my mum, but it was something that I really struggled with. But actually, having that experience allowed for that transformation to take place in that rehearsal space yeah. of what you were saying well there is no control here there is no power struggle here there's but how would I be able to do that if I didn't have that experience yeah, yeah. so now this is not a bad experience this yeah. is not a wrong experience this is just an experience yeah. but what did I learn from it what were the goods what were the bads yeah how can I grow from this how did I apply that what do I want to perpetuate yeah what do I wanna like what do I want to leave yeah. and that's that's what you see that's 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 who I am every day and I think I just want, I just love to be able to help everybody to be in that space for themselves, and that's what I am trying to create. Whether it's skate bodies, doesn't matter what name it's under, mm -hmm. that's what I'm always trying to create. I'm passionate about it. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Yo. The Rolling Out podcast is produced by Burt's Associates in partnership with Skate Buddies and with the support of an Awards for All grant from the National Lottery Community Fund. The music and sound design was composed and arranged by Mia Sugnasinghe.